Okay, today I thought we'd put together this simple uh, radio controlled dog kit that I found on AliExpress. I paid, looking it up, $5.18. Had uh, free shipping, and at that price. Now, I've seen the same dog kit on AliExpress as high as 20 some odd dollars. So, if you decide you want to do something like this and build it with your kids or your grandkids, or maybe you just want to have some fun yourself. You know, keep looking around, keep popping around. Don't buy the first one you see because you'll find it for lower prices. And they did put a big sticker right over the front picture of it. So you can't really see what's there. And there isn't much on that sticker that I can I can read. Part of the reason that I uh, ordered this also is I wanted to find out if the uh, tariffs would uh, raise it. So I wanted to pick something that costs very little money five dollars and eighteen cents so if they tried to hit me with a hundred and thirty or a hundred and fifty percent tariff I could just say yeah keep it but uh, no there wasn't any extra charge so I'm not sure what the deal is I know the tariffs at different levels have been in effect for over a week and every day the tariff price changes between us and China but um, it came it's cheap should be a fun little kit to put together. So, there is an instruction book that came with it, but uh, it isn't very helpful. Uh, all the parts were plastic parts. We're mounted on trees, you know, like plastic models normally are. And where can I put this? Put this over here. So, it's in a couple of languages. See if we can find the English. Here we go. In case you want to freeze frame it and read any of that, go for it. And then uh, here you can see how the, the parts would have been on the trees. And this is the beginning, the instructions down here telling you to put these two uh, rear leg levers onto this uh, gear motor assembly. And it comes up here, and it's basically showing you to uh, put the receiver controller into that lower body frame. And I'm going to show you how to do that. And then here it's uh, going on to putting the battery box in, and there's a battery cover. And once all that's done, it shows you how to put the legs on. Now, it's, it doesn't quite show you everything that you need to know to put the legs on. The legs are not the same. Some of them have larger slots and smaller slots, depending whether they're on the front of the dog or whether they're on the rear of the dog. So, I'm going to go over that with you. It did come with the uh, small button cell batteries in the transmitter for going forward and reverse. But, of course, you have to provide your own uh, AAA batteries for the dog itself. Okay. So, like I say, that first picture we saw showed this motor mechanism and these two linkage pieces and they're going to look like that. Notice how there's a hump up. It's going to face up like that. And if you're like me, you'll drop it on the floor. Okay. These posts are going to face outwards like so. That isn't the first thing we do. The first thing we do is we got to take this remote control board and it's also the driver board and the switch board for the whole toy and it's going to fit into this square area and there's a snap there and there's a snap there they snap really tight so don't let that scare you when you go to do this that you're gonna break something because you're gonna have to snap it in there but you can see where the switch is and the switch hole down in there so that kind of lets you know how that's going to line up in the first place. So I started the, uh, for me this side was the hardest. First, switch is lined up. Then I'm going to go ahead and push that down in there. And there it is. If you line everything up right, it goes in pretty easy. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the motor. And let's uh, look at the motor again. You notice how there's a hole right there. And then there's a hole right there. You know that those holes there because it's going to fit onto some posts. And you got a post right there 
and a post right there. That should help you in lining up this motor unit in here. Just push that down in there like that and let these bits hang out like so. Okay, I believe, if I remember right, the next thing I'm going to do is take the top of the body, which is where the battery part goes. There's also a hole right back here in the top of the body. That's where you're supposed to run this antenna wire out. Oh, before we put the body on, it might be a good idea if we plug the motor in. This white connector into that white connector. We got a cat trying to break in here. So hopefully you won't mind the constant meowing because that's what she does. And um, then we're going to take this. And I believe this all just snaps together. Yes. Although I did kind of get kind of wombly on that battery connector. See, I may have to take it apart, but I'm going to try and fix it without taking it apart. Just to see if I can. I guess we'll find out when you try to connect the, uh, the batteries in. So then you got your batteries, got that. There is a little uh, recessed uh, area there that's going to have to fit in only one way. And just going to kind of wind these battery wires up in the front here. See, the cat's going to be relentless. All right. Why don't we uh, try turning it on? You notice the on-off switch? Let's turn that on and let's push the uh, transmitter to see if things run. Ah, good. So we couldn't have screwed things up too much. Let's turn that back off. There are stickers that come with this too. I'd already put the sticker on the top and the sticker on the side so that I wouldn't be trying to have to uh, put stickers on while the camera is running. That just snaps on and holds the batteries on. You just pry it off to get the batteries back out. You know, there is a your choice on heads. It is a cat head and then there's the robot head. I don't much care for the cat head. I like the way the robot head looks. Um, I already snapped this top of the robot head onto this bottom of the robot so that fit the ball in there and then that post is going to go into here like so very good all right as I said earlier the legs are, are different you notice that this leg has a very large square opening up there whereas this one that's bent in the same angle has a very small hole opening. Well the large one is going to go to the front. It's going to go on like this. Then you're going to take one of these little black post pieces and you're just going to press it in to hold the leg on like that. So then find the other one with the large opening. Set it on there. Grab the piece, press it in like that. Assuming I'm putting the legs on, aiming the right way. And then there's uh, these covers. They're just round black plastic with uh, some little nibs. And there's uh, two little nib holes where you're going to put those. Kind of pull the leg out away from the robot and you'll get that piece to go in more or less all the way. I could work on that one a little bit more. Don't want to take the camera time to uh, to do that right now. But it should go in flush all the way like that. This one here, I m must have missed one of the nib holes because it's not lined up. There we go. That's what I did. So now those two are on, so that just leaves our rear. So the rear, like I say, the rear had that smaller hole in the top. So you get it on there. And 
again you're going to take one of these things and you're going to push it in there all the way so you don't need any uh, any tools to do this it's all kind of pressed together which means um, it probably can fall apart easily too if you're not not careful but that's okay I mean you could always really glue some of this I guess if you cared about that and just get that one on there did end up with uh, one extra of these black nib things. I'm not quite sure why they give you an extra of that, but they did. Maybe you use that when you put the cat head on. I don't know. I didn't do the cat head. All right. And there it is. Let's uh, switch it back on. And we got the, uh, the remote. Pretty fast walker. Now it doesn't walk backwards as well as it does forwards, but that's okay. It uh, doesn't have any turning control, but then what do you want for $5.18? I guess if you'd been one of the unfortunate people that bought the first ad that you saw for it and it was 20 some odd dollars, <laughs> you might not like it quite as much. But I thought for $5 it might be a a fun addition to my robot collection and the robot hut and, and maybe a fun build that some of you might want to do. Plus I wanted to find out whether the uh, tariffs were actually affecting the price of this or not. Now I did just look this up on AliExpress and right now the cheapest price I could find it for was like six dollars and some odd cents. So it, you know it has gone up maybe a buck but uh, still a fun little build. Still a fun little thing. If you want to see what the cat head looks like there's the cat head, in case you don't want the robot head. Looks like that just pops onto that ball that was on the, the front. Wasn't much into that. Kind of like this. It's a good look. I guess if I was going to rebuild it and change anything, I probably would go ahead and add some uh, LEDs or something to the eyes. We got three volts in there, so I could put red LEDs in there, no problems. And uh, run it that way. If a person wanted to make a steerable version of this, it seems like we could just scale this up and put a joint in the center, a little bit of a joint where you could pivot the front from the rear a little bit so that the front legs, which are the ones that pull it along, uh, could steer you off one way or the other. You see, these back ones just literally go forward and backward. They don't lift up at all. But these front ones, being on the lower crank, not only go forward and backward, but they also go up and down. It moves so fast you may not be able to see it, but I'll hold the rear ones real close to the surface. You see how they, they don't really go anywhere? But look at the front ones. It just goes up in the air, comes back down. You can see it here in the, in the hip action. So the front ones are the ones that are actually taking the steps to move the thing. And the rear ones are just kind of there to, to scurry along. Works pretty good though. Radio controlled, forward and backward. In my case, $5.18. I can't beat that for a fun little project.